In this video, we're going to look at data view parameters. Specifically, we're going to look at query string parameters that can be passed into a data view. First thing that we're going to need is a data view. What we're going to do is create one from a pre-existing database data source. We're going to build this data view up really quickly here. First, we're going to take the reseller name, drag it down into our data form web part. I'm going to click on the paging button here. We're going to set our limit to 1. Click OK. Now we're going to reset some of the properties. Go to the table. We're going to set the number of columns to 2. Click OK to apply that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that header now. We'll go ahead and cut this out here and paste it in up here. Move a few more things into place here. We'll just make a new line here. Drag the business type underneath that. We'll grab some contact information. Put it underneath here. Go ahead and put in in business sense and company size. We'll go ahead and drag in the appropriate things from our data source. Grab the year opened and the number of employees. Then we'll create our annual sales and bank. Here we'll grab the appropriate items again. Annual sales and the bank name. For annual sales, we'll just go ahead and format that as currency. Now we've got ourselves a dashboard view of individual resellers. Now that we have our data view, we can go ahead and open up the common data view tasks, go into parameters. We're going to create a new parameter. In this case, we're going to call it the reseller ID parameter. We're going to create a query string. Go ahead and put in reseller ID again. Click OK. Now our data view has a parameter, so we want to use it. What we're going to do is click on Filter. Now we've got the ability to go ahead and set a field name that we want to filter on. We're going to scroll down here and grab the reseller key which essentially is the ID number for the reseller. And we're going to compare it to the value of reseller ID, which is the parameter that we just created. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and that will set our filter. Now we're going to go into our data view properties again. Now we're going to change what the display text is if there are no matching items found. Since we didn't give our parameter a default value, there won't ever be a match until you actually provide a query string. We're just going to type in no matching reseller found, and we'll click OK, and apply our change. Now we can go ahead and save that. Take a look at the page in our browser. Now you'll see that that's giving us the no matching reseller found message. We can go ahead and add a query string. Just say reseller ID equals 1. Page will refresh. And you can see that it fills in with the Blue Yonder Airlines. If we were to change this to 100, you can see that the reseller has updated to reflect the new reseller ID that we've passed in through the query string. 